another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the second match between Gosifer and White. White keeping the color white in the bottom right-hand corner as the white Protoss. Upper left-hand corner, we have Gosifer starting as the, I'll call it teal Protoss. A lot of Protoss in this group. Too sexy on the opposite side of the bracket. A Protoss player as well. I actually like the, uh, this is on Revolver, by the way. Group C of Hasu League BSL Season 13. I feel like the racial spread in Hasu League a little bit better this season. Oftentimes, Protoss are just overrepresented uh, in Hasu League in particular. But uh, yeah, 14 Protoss this time, 7 Terran, and 11 Zerg. As opposed to before, where it just felt like there was twice as many Protoss as any other race. It's like you combine the Terran and the Zerg together, there was still more Protoss than all. And I think that makes more interesting matches. This being a very Protoss-heavy group, so buckle up. And I think the other issue of like the Protoss domination in the past is you had Dreamer that was such an amazing Protoss. You had Master Ray, who's already, you know, he's just been around. Uh, Fisheye in the groupings. And so you, those guys were always towards the top of the bracket. Anyway, <clears throat> more of a macro-oriented map. In my opinion, I actually don't know what to call PvP on Revolver. This is going to be cross spawns, which suggests that macro is going to be the better play overall, theoretically. We are seeing an initial scout from White much earlier than Gosefer. I feel like early Dragoon. This feels like a map where Reaver play would be very solid, mostly because you got a large natural expansion. You have, it just feels like Reavers might be able to run a little bit better. We're seeing a 12 Nexus from Gosifer. So definitely going to take an economic lead. I actually like that play on this map. Being that the natural expansion has the the eggs and whatnot. And it can be, and it's just a big map. And so it's difficult to reinforce. But yeah, I just feel like with the, so the High Templar Reavers, they really can make good use of of a lot of the a lot of the artifacts on this map. We'll see if that ends up being the case down the line. White going to move up. He's going to scout the 12 Nexus. Now let's see how he opts to respond. Goes for scouting bottom left. He does want to see the response. This either you got to follow up and try to play from economically behind forge being dropped by the way, gateway in the main as well. Or you go ahead and drop your own Nexus and try to play from there. First Zealot making its way across. Goes for actually delaying it a little bit accidentally, I think, with that probe. No second gateway being dropped by White. So I'm almost wondering if he's going to see what he can get done with that first Zealot and just try to play the game normally from there. So I've been score whooping in. Dragoon, awesome play. Or if he's just going to go straight to Robotics. Photon Cannon warping in, but I believe the Zealot is going to be able to get in position. Zelt making its way towards the natural. And this is where, uh, yeah, I like this play again because the single photon cannon, you can see how much territory it covers. The probe's trying to blockade while this zealot gets in position. This zealot having some trouble engaging, not able to breach the ramp. And that's giving time for that cannon to warp in. We do have a proc, nice white. He's got a proxy pylon to the 11 o'clock location. The dragoon's going to go ahead and push this probe back. And we're going to see proxy gateway. So proxy two gate. Wondering if he's going to go up to three and potentially four. So yeah, there's the third gateway being added on. So he wants to go for a big flood of units from the north where it's a little bit of a wider gap to try to engage from that angle. Still not, not ultra optimal. And did that probe sneak up and scout that? Third, second cannon being dropped. I'm not sure if that probe walked up and saw those gateways or not. Yeah, I think it did because now the zealots are moving out before units are warped in. And now, oh, white in trouble. He's got Dragoon, two Dragoons and a Zealot trying to warp up and engage. They're going to work on this gateway. I think this might be a mistake for Gozifer. He needs to retreat these Zealots back to the protective line of those cannons. So, and might end up, is he going to lose a Zealot? He's certainly going to get some base damage done. This is going to buy time to get the, the for those two cannons to hold the front. Third cannon warping in. More reinforcements moving up, and that probe going to be able to return to home base. So I think this is going to be three gate pressure in the midst of this, and a robotic facility. So three gate robo. I think it's going to be three gate robo and a reaver from the north. 
is what we're going to see. I also, I actually would have wanted to see that probe swing around and maybe build the robo here to just get a closer reinforcement point. White pressing that front door. Zealot for a zealot right there. Checking the number of cannons. More cannons warping in. And two additional pylons, or sorry, an additional pylon being dropped. So at a certain point, though, keep in mind, cannons are disad it becomes a disadvantage over time because you're you've invested so much in cannons rather than units three gateways behind this so production going to be just about even so the difference is going to be in this robotics facility big and a fourth gateway being dropped down so within two to three minutes Gosefer is going to be able to outproduce white he's continuing to Produce Dragoons on this front. Both players stacking up defenses, or I should say stacking up, what do I want to call this? Stacking up a uh, threat? Because this, you know, this is defense, this is offense, whatever. They're building up their troops, mustering their troops for combat. Range is going to be a bit delayed, but I think it is going to be there before the initial engagement. Robotics facility is done. Shuttle being built. Reaver also being built. But yeah, so for White attacking from the northern position, he's going to need to play very, very defensively and very, very careful with that Reaver. It needs to make sure that those Dragoons can't just walk forward and pick the Reaver off. Gosefer, in the meantime, needs to find... This is a very compacted natural expansion. If he can hold that fight back, and if he can wipe out these troops on the front, he will certainly win this match. And he's still in a great position because he does have those two bases. And he's basically got double the economy, double the effective economy of white at this stage of the match. Waiting on that Reaver, waiting on that Observer. No Templar Archives in the back of this. Some Photon Cannons being warped into the main just in case there was a I like that play, just in case there's an attack on the front, the Reavers are going to the main to try to kill probes at that location. But I have a feeling White just wants to try to punch this in in really a direct attack. I like Gosefer's odds here because this is such an impacted natural expansion. Two Zealots actually sneaking out the south. This is a clever play from Gosefer. And White being forced to engage here before the Reaver's in play by Gosefer. And he's just happy to exchange Dragoons. Having trouble organizing them. Better concavity from White at this location. But he's trying to reduce that Dragoon count on the front. Can he pick up that shuttle? Getting some damage done. Now backing off. Needs to have reinforcements. But now White can just sit back. And attack. However, he missed. This could be the difference in the match. The Zealots able to just walk in to the main of white. So white is effectively all in now. And it's going to be up to probes to play battle probe to defend this main. White now attacking that front. That reaver taking damage. That reaver gets wiped out. This attack is certainly done with. And the probe count plummeting in the midst of this. Everything going right for Gosefer thus far. Finally, the probes pulling back. Looks like they want to try to defend with this Dragoon. His economy is shattered. So he's just got to win it with what he's got on the ground. And I honestly do not see that happening at this stage. Gustafur just needs to keep playing the probes, trying to attack the Zealot. In fact, I would expect GG maybe even right here. So it's what? 10 probes versus 39. A second Reaver has been produced. But it means that White has to move all the more rapid. The Dragoons suiciding their way forward. One last shot. Picks the Reaver off. And the shuttle going to make its way back to the main to go pick up the next Reaver behind this. So the game is, in my opinion, over at this stage. Unless Gosefer makes a huge blunder. Level 1 weapons will be online. A Dark Templar will be on the front shortly. Six gateways of production behind this. A robotics facility being dropped as well. We've got 10 Dragoons on the front. A few more to be added. The single Reaver going to move up with the shuttle, but... I would be shocked if this was breached. And goes for actually sneaking out a probe to go ahead and grab a third to add insult to injury in the midst of this. 
The only thing Ghostifer does not have going for him is just raw troop count. He actually has level 1 weapons as well, so his troops hit harder. The Dark Templar moving forward, and I don't see an Observer anywhere in the midst of this. Actually, the Dark Templar are just going to go walk to the main to just finish things outright. The Dragoons walking in the shuttle picked off. The Reaver taking some damage as well, and the Reaver wiped out. And that's going to provoke White to just try to full in, full on, just straight up engage to wipe out the cannon line that is here. Ghostfer needs to defend with re-engagement, but it might not even need it. There is an Observer there. Is that Dark Templar going to get picked off? No, the Dark Templar are able to just get in the main, and the Dragoons, yeah, being forced back. There, <laughs> White giving the G. That was a game. Not necessarily a good one. So we'll move on uh, from here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.